So you know the phrase, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, apparently it's ringing true in Paris. There's growing concern over bed bugs. As many celebrities, they're returning to the U.S. after Fashion Week. Plus, it's a major destination. So many people do travel over there. But here's a little piece of what Paris is dealing with right now. Don't freak out, but apparently there's a bed bug infestation in Paris. People have been posting TikToks from the city and apparently they've been spotted on the metro, on the bus, in the airport and in the cinema. Like little tourists. Oh, sure. Paris's deputy mayor said no one is safe and that urgent action is needed to get rid of them before the Olympics next year. And this isn't just a problem in Paris. Apparently it's an issue all over France. <laughs> All right, how about that one? It's so bad, in fact, that this is what one of the deputy mayors tweeted out right there. Faced with a bed bug infestation, coordinated measures are needed that bring together health authorities, communities, and all relevant stakeholders to prevent the risk and act effectively. No one is safe, I think, is the big headline. Let's yes. get to that one. No one is safe. <laughs> That's the part that really stuck with me. And so you know what a lot of folks are thinking? Well, it's only a matter of time, and it's going to be over here, because a lot of folks are traveling and moving around. So what are some preventative measures that we can take when we're traveling or at least being here because it's inevitable it's going to come over here so let's talk to the co-owner of prodigy pest solutions sabrina kelly thank Hi. you for joining us thank you so much for having me i mean are we correct in thinking yeah it might be in france now but it's only a matter of time i mean bed bugs are really everywhere they're anywhere mm -hmm. that people are people are their preferred host so um anytime bed bugs have an opportunity to feed they will take advantage and even though they're called bed bugs how easy is it for them to travel and to move to different locations so that's their nature they are hitchhikers by nature so you know wherever people are, they're always looking for their next food meal. And so in order to obtain a food meal, they're willing to travel Oof. on luggage, um, you know, pretty much anywhere. They'll live on mattresses, on couches, on chairs. Um, they can be just about anywhere. So let's start with how do you prevent it? Um, mm -hmm. Is it something, let's just start with like as simple as the luggage. If we're going, if we're traveling at all to any hotel, mm -hmm. what can we do when we like go into the hotel room? First step, always, you know, before even unpacking or bringing your luggage into the room, you want to do a thorough sweep, right? So go in, you want to look in all of the places where they're known to hide. So underneath of the mattress where it meets the box spring, underneath of the box spring where it meets the frame. Often overlooked places are behind the headboard, behind the nightstands. Sometimes if there are pictures on the wall, above the bed they can be there as well um, so it's really important to just go through and people often forget like pull out couches you know I have kids we travel a lot as a family my kids sleep on a pull-out couch it's super important when you stay in a hotel to also check the pull-out couches and so there are they pretty easy to spot then I mean we have you brought in a, a dead one thank goodness <laughs> um, that we have here if we can show yeah. uh, so that's what it'll look like when we're looking that's what we should be seeing yeah I mean they're about the size of an apple seed so that's an adult bed bug um, so typically you'll find them in clusters so like you saw in some of those photos bed bugs like to be sort of clustered and tight together so you'll find them their droppings their exoskeletons so in that photo you see their cast skins the black dots are their droppings I didn't know they had droppings like I didn't know yeah, so, you know, it's super interesting. Bed bugs, every, when they take a food meal, they have to process that and excrete it. They mm -hmm. leave behind their droppings. And so one of the telltale signs that differentiates, say, bed bugs from another pest that might cause itchy bite-like reactions would be those droppings. Wow. So you brought in some stuff for us. I didn't know there's bug traps. Um, what yeah. are those things? So this actually, what the bed bug was in is actually what we call an interceptor or a climb up. So they go underneath the feet of the bed. It's like a pitfall trap. So basically when the bed bug tries to get to the bed, it gets stuck in the well. There's usually like some talc powder in there just to prevent it from climbing easily. Um, and then there's insect glue traps. We often recommend these to our customers who are concerned uh, whether or not they have bed bugs. So it's just like little sticky tape, double-sided tape. You put these along the baseboards or underneath the feet of the bed. You also mentioned, I'd never heard of this before, a hat box. So if people are traveling frequently, obviously it's going to be cost prohibitive to have to do a bed bug treatment every time if yeah. you happen to reintroduce them. And so one of the things that many of our customers done have purchased uh, these things from Amazon, it's like a portable heater. It plugs in, essentially, uh, it takes up the temperature to a certain degree. We know that bed bugs die at about 122 degrees. Um, their eggs die at about 113 degrees. So getting it hot enough should kill everything inside. And that's the thing that mentioned on TikTok, I saw people saying prepare, and they're saying get steamers and bring a steamer with you. Does a steamer work, like a steamer machine that you can? Um, so I think it would really depend on the quality of the steamer that you purchased. Okay. We certainly have commercial grade steamers, mm -hmm. um, but the kind that you're gonna find at like a local you know, chain store probably isn't necessarily going to give you mm -hmm. the right amount of heat. And also you need a special nozzle to get into those nooks and crannies Got and cracks it. and crevices. And a dryer sheet, someone else said a dryer sheet too. Does that work at all? 
wouldn't use them as? I would say probably not. Okay. Um, there's minimal research on dryer sheets for effectiveness. And they're so hard to get rid of. You brought in the mattress pads. Do you put them on preventatively to protect your mattresses? Absolutely. I have them on my mattress and box spring. We have them on our kids. All my family has them. Um, and you just know. any or does it have to be a particular one? So I like bed bug ones and I like the cloth ones. So sometimes they sell plastic ones. I mean, if you change your sheets, you're going to rip your mattress encasement. It's not worth it. So uh, the cloth ones are nice. You can wash them. Um, and it's just an easy way to spot them. Thank you. Yeah, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Oh, gosh. I know. Get ready. <laughs>